So today we're gonna to be installing a hydro drift brake on the Turbo Malibu. Why, why not? Let's go. Let me show you my plan. So I already have the hydro brake installed. It is a Chase Bays unit. It's very nice. And I got the optional mounting plate there and I basically just welded it to the floor and I have a support tab down there. And I did this all before I coated the floor in the Herculiner, but that'll be just sitting on top of the carpet when that's all installed. Like I said, that is just a, such a nice unit. They use like a Willwood master there. I don't know if you can kind of see that a line that kind of it's going to shoot out here and just connect here and then just got to bridge the gap between here and the brake setup in the rear but i am going to run a separate brake setup and how i'm going to do that is i picked up another set of these gm big board calipers that you use commonly on like rear end disc brake kit swaps and then a mounting bracket set up here I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna have to cut most of this up in order to adapt it to the rear because the rear already has a disc brake setup for it with a set of these calipers on it already, but those ones have the parking brake on it. These ones obviously don't because you don't you don't need that with a hydro brake. Um, I did have to order a few things. I don't have them yet. Um, and when those come in, we'll be able to kind of like tie this all in together, but to go from the caliper to like mount to the axle. I picked up a couple of these like GM banjo fitting 3AN line. Cause I need one for the main and then one for the drift brake. And then also what I'm gonna try to tackle today is my stance, right? So like the rear A I think is a little too high front is a little too low so we're gonna bring the front up a little bit and then the rear also like it doesn't that's I mean as cool as that looks yeah we're hitting on the top right there so you can see I kind of already marked out where I want to cut out so I'm gonna cut that all out in order to clear the tire but then also my adapters because these wheels are what five on 120 right and then the cars are five on four and seven five, so I need I need that to fit these wheels. But I'm going with a little bit shorter, smaller adapters, and that's what these things are for right here. So hopefully that will give me enough clearance there to shove those wheels in a little bit more. And then after I trim out the body lines, that should clear just fine. We can drop the ass end a little bit down and not have to worry about scrubbing or rubbing. So yeah, let's um let's get to it. We gotta get those wheels off kind of get the car up in the air a little bit more and then we can come up with a plan on how we got to mount these guys here. Got it all disassembled. Got the main backer plate off because it is a drum brake to disc brake conversion kit for a GM rear end. Um, I'm running into a little bit of an issue. Well, it's not really an issue. You just gotta modify it in order to make it work. Um, so this is hitting on this and I'm not be able to get this far enough in. So I have to clean this up and weld this bracket onto here anyway. Eventually, when I figure out the spacing that I need in order to make sure that this is centered on the rotor, um, but for now, I'm going to just wire or strip all the, the powder coat off this bracket here and then notch it so that this can fit in through here. So it's been a few hours of mock-up, huge mess, and attack weld with that thing. But this is the bracket that I ended up coming up with in order to make everything work. Um, but now that we have this template, um, it's going to be a lot easier to do on the driver's side. 
So I'm just gonna give this a little bit of time to cool and then I'm gonna mock it all up again just to make sure it's okay. And then I'll take it back apart and I'll use that, like I said, as a template for the driver's side and the driver's side should take half as much time. Got it all bolted together, spins nice and freely. No binding, no nothing. That clanking was the other rotor on the other side. Don't worry about that, that's fine. One thing I do wanna check, I know that the 18s will clear, no problem. But I do have a set of 15s on drag radials that I wanna make sure clear this whole setup. So I'm gonna go grab that a second and throw those on and just to make sure, because I, I might wanna do like a drag trim on this thing as well. Um, yeah, let's, let's see. Yep, they clear no problem. So that's good news. The car can have multiple personalities. Um, next, I'm gonna obviously pull those back off there. I gotta paint that bracket, but I gotta use that bracket for mock-up for the driver's side. So I'm gonna get to that right now. Got the driver's side all prepped, cut out clearance everywhere that I need. And my theory is if I like sandwich them together mirrored, line up all the holes, and I just tack weld this, it should be where it needs to be. So I'm gonna quick throw some tacks on this. And then I'm gonna throw it in the car, assemble everything, make sure it's good. Hopefully it is, and then we can burn it all together. All right, got the driver's side bracket bolted in, and then the caliper um, bolted onto that. Rotates nice and smooth. It's got tons of clearance where it needs to be. Um, so now I can just pull that off, finish weld that, and then I guess I can go ahead and paint these things. And while those things, are, I think, are drying, I'm gonna do my trimming here on the inner fender. Get that all clearanced out. Yeah. So I basically took tape and then marked it along my line. Just gave me a nice, good, clear guide of where I needed to cut. And I just made several light passes with a cutoff wheel until it came off because you don't want to get too hot because you might risk boiling this paint, bubbling it up. Um, this had had quarters put on it. So I had to deal with a little bit extra thickness going on there. But now I'm going to take this tape off here and then I'll clean this up really well, retape it, kind of mask off more of the car, and I'm gonna just spray some black in there in order to make sure that that doesn't rust. Brackets painted nice and dry. Also where I cut inside the fenders there, I painted all that. That's nice and dry. Give it about an hour or so. So now I should be able to assemble this all. Also, I got the new wheel adapter, so you can see the difference. It's just a quarter of an inch, but that should give me enough of a push in on the wheel a little bit less offset, more offset? Sure, one of those two, in order to make sure that it can uh, have enough travel and not have to scrub and I can run it as low as I want to. Um, I have to plumb the system up, but I think for now I'm just gonna assemble it all with both calipers and everything like that. And then I did have to order a few new lines and stuff like that, like the, some 3AN flex line to run from the hydro brake back to these calipers, but when those come in, I'll assemble that. But for, for right now, if I can just get this all back together, I'm gonna say that's, that's a good enough win for me today.
Yeah, with those spacers now on there that are a quarter inch shorter, all the trimming that's done inside here, as you can see, I just take my fingers, put them up in here all day long. And plenty of suspension travel. Doesn't hit, doesn't rub. Absolutely love it. Oh! So I think that's where I'm gonna call it for this one. Got a lot knocked out. It's been a long day, but she's got dual calipers now. All I have to do is plumb it up to the hydro brake that's already mounted in the car. Will it drift? I don't know. We're gonna find out for sure. Um, I know that it's just kind of a dumb idea. It's more like this car is completely impractical anyway, so why not make it a little bit more impractical and a little bit more fun haveable? Does that make sense? Sure, it makes sense to me. That's why I did it, because it doesn't make sense. And that's the fun of building a car that's as crazy as this. Um, if you guys made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. Drop me a like, hit subscribe, because hey, we're getting close, we're getting closer. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.